a threat to the country and its energy sector is how state electricity workers are describing a deal to sell 40% of a state-owned 300 megawatt power plant in Sri Lanka. Hundreds of employees have demonstrated outside the headquarters of the Ceylon Electricity Board. On 21st September, the government and an American company promoted by the U.S. Ambassador in Colombo announced reaching a sales agreement. It covered the purchase of this power plant, construction of a gas storage terminal, and a monopoly of gas supplies to all plants using liquefied natural gas. This deal is not good for the organization CEB, not good for the country, because it's, a, it's, a, it's an enormous loss for the country. And also, this is the first time that we see that, that unsolicited proposal being entertained by the government when an ongoing tender is, is in progress. Unions want the deal scrapped and say they will ensure this is done. On Tuesday, union representatives filed a petition at the Supreme Courts challenging the deal. Award the tender to any country through an open process in keeping with accepted international norms if Sri Lanka doesn't have the money, but be transparent. Unions say there has been no transparency about the deal, with even cabinet ministers still unaware of its details one and a half months later. This was made clear when 11 governing alliance partners made scathing remarks against those behind the deal. There was no discussion at all, don't lie. It was brought surreptitiously by force. We will not tolerate and watch these things happen. We will not accept it, ignoring our conscience just to hold on to ministerial posts. People of this country did not give President Kotabaya Rajapaksa the mandate and trust him for someone to steal that power. Thilaksi Ambalapitya has worked in the energy sector for more than 35 years. We asked him about the implications of the deal. I would ask everybody to exercise extreme caution. Extreme caution, one, because this was, as the media says, it is an unsolicited proposal. We should also not forget that the Electricity Act, the law in the country, says electricity should be procured on a competitive basis. Electricity should be procured on a competitive basis. So therefore, that means the fuel should be procured on a competitive basis. Simbala Pitya says the take or pay terms where Sri Lanka is locked into accepting a fixed amount of gas, regardless of how much it needs, is not good and even dangerous. Sri Lankans are hoping it's not too late to ensure the deal is in the country's best interest. But more pressing is avoiding power outages that may plunge the country into darkness. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.